Hey, 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 Big Dave the Middle-Aged Gamer here with another episode of Fallout London. And we are in the Angel Lab. And we need to go through this door. After going through the HR department last episode. Well, that's always a good start. script. How? Somebody put me on here. There's that conscript. And another conscript. And we're getting hit hard by that guy. Protein can, give us a point in jelly. That sounds useful. Skim milk is made for is used for tea. Fox steaks, that should do us good. Uh -huh. Well, got lucky there. that angel underground state okay that's where we came from wait is it oh jeez I am so confused right now it just says explore the lab all right let's look at the map okay we came from that way so No, we came from this way, didn't we? No. No, we didn't. Okay, trying to figure out where we came from here. Okay, these were the two turrets. That's where the guy came in, so we came from this way. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Okay, so do we want to go east or south? Let's try south. Let's see what that gets us. We should probably save after all that fighting. Uh, what do we have here? Oh, this is interesting now. Three ways we can go. So we won't go that way. Let's see what we got here. Scanner. 
Okay, we're gonna back off from all of that. Trying to get the lay of the land here. That goes to a different area. Alright, let's go back this way with the three different directions. And let's go this way. Okay. All right. Okay, sleeping quarters. I can dig that. No point unlocking if there's nothing in it. Didn't know lunch pails could lock. It's not like that. Okay. Dog meat and a yuca cherry. Raw meat, that's kind of weird to see in a lunchbox. Kira. Ammo, always good. Okay, awfully quiet here. I'm perfectly fine with. And we're overweight. Okay. <sighs> Kira. Okay, we're overburdened. start getting rid of some stuff that we're just not going to really need. Red, anything that's not marked, and that's pretty darn heavy. We're actually doing okay on steel for now. I think I'd be turning away uh, circuitry. because I need the wood. Okay. That lightens the load a fair bit. Now we just have to make sure we pay attention to junk that. is the bathrooms. Yeah. Okay, not much going on here. Fine. We'll save. Let's see what's this way. Looks like an office. book. If we find a library, that'll be useful. Take the wine.
This place is actually kind of fancy. Obviously somebody's uh, office. Cigarette packs can be sold for a decent amount of money. Another cute Thulu. What the hell? Wait, taking the cute Thulu opened that up. That's weird. Oh, okay. I know where we are. I just saw something. Don't know why I took the vase. But, Smythe's terminal tells us everything we need to know. Alright, let's look at Smythe's terminal. You remember Smythe? He was the guy that was talking to us. Progress is stalling, and I'm beginning to lose my patience. It's astounding how one's own ambitions can be hampered by the incompetence of others. Time is of the essence, and yet here I am, stuck in a quagmire of mediocrity. Perhaps it's time to reassess the team's capabilities. I cannot afford to be held back any longer. Log 2. Tunnel cough! It's spreading like wildfire through the lower levels of the facility. Chaps need to implement stricter safety protocols and ensure that everyone is wearing their respiratory filters at all times. Can't have the workforce falling apart when there's important work to be done. Perhaps I should replace them. Yes. Yes, that shall do it. Today marks the anniversary of Angel's discovery of the enigmatic green substance. My understanding has deepened the experiments, yielding intriguing results, yet much remains unknown and caution continues to be the watchword. As I reflect on this milestone, I should remind myself to be vigilant, cognizant of the immense potential and profound risks this substance embodies. Here's to another year of exploration and enlightenment. Entry log about the exciting news. I have a new recruit joining us today. Fresh blood is always welcome to inject new ideas and perspectives into our projects. Let's hope this individual proves to be a valuable addition to the team. I must make sure they're properly briefed and integrated into our, their respective department. We have much to accomplish together. Whoop, wrong one. Ah, what a splendid evening spent with my miniatures painting project. These little figurines are becoming quite the masterpiece. The details are exquisite, if I do say so myself. It's a welcome reprieve from the situation of the outside world. Each stroke of the brush brings a sense of tranquility. Though I fear I shall have to put this hobby on the back burner for a while, there are far more important matters to deal with. No rest for the wicked. All right, back to number six. For future me, I want to remind myself that as I tread this precarious path, caution must be our guide. The consequences of misstep could be catastrophic. And number seven. It's that time again, the nagging reminder that I should probably utilize the gymnasium equipment to prolong my existence. The eternal struggle between the desire for eternal couch potato status and the nagging voice in the back of my head chanting, Health is wealth! I mean, sure, the thought of being all swole does have its appeal, but then reality kicks in and I am far too busy and there is too much at stake and the snacks become overwhelmingly tempting. Decisions, decisions. Maybe I'll just do a few push-ups and call it a day. Want us to start somewhere, yes? <laughs> Alright, we'll save after that bit of stuff. An antique clock. Spring water. Soap. Okay, this is his be his sleeping quarters. Little telephone.
80 pounds. All right, this is the gym equipment. Protein can, protein pack. That's food. At least I hope it is. A couple of tickets and a stash of tickets. Yay. And what do we got in here? His bathroom with three stalls. You figure the executive washroom would be a bit would have been a bit nicer. But nah, same as it ever was. Only taking the soap because it's light. What do we have in here? Universal. How bizarre. Okay. So now that we've poked through Smythe's office, that's the direction we came from. Let's save. Let's see what's over this way. A lot of machinery. Not much else. Not much in the way of lootables. What do we have here? A hand scanner. Gonna avoid the hand scanners for now, simply because I don't know what they're gonna do to us. Which does leave us with one direction left to poke, for now. Well, two if you include out. Or to next level. Although, I get the feeling I should leave the gas mask on. Really? Really, Kira? I mean, yeah, thanks for taking the guy out, but did you have to blow me up with it as well? Alright. Dog bed? No. Always not one, huh? Okay. A boardroom. Yardstick, that's wood. Hey, look, it's a table dance. <laughs> All right, otherwise, not much in here. And we'll save. Let's see what happens. Commencing scan. Do unlocking. What? Scanning complete. Okay, I didn't expect that to work. Clone. And another one. Yeah, can't fool me. We get back to some decent, honest looting. Well, if there's anything to loot, and what the hell's down there? Oh, 
Oh, that's interesting. You see all that down there? I don't think we're going to want to go down there. It's not like that. Oh, wait. Never mind. Um, don't think I'm quite ready for that yet. But now that we know that works, let's check that other spot again. Put our hand in the scanner. Commencing scan. Welcome back, Agent. Scanning complete. Welcome back, Agent. Okay, did anybody else catch that? down below. Wow, that's a lot of down below. I don't know about y'all, but I'm a little nervous about all this. over this way. A lift. <laughs> See you, Kira. <laughs> All right, what's down here? Save again. Working terminal. So, do these spectacles actually work? No. Initializing the VAT system, it process check VAT development status. Green bioreactor fluid has been stabilized at the optimal nutrient levels. The temperature and pH are within the desired ranges. Status. Nutrient levels optimal. Temperature 37 degrees Celsius. pH 7.4. Genetic material complete development. Phase initiated. Monitoring system for irregularities. All normal systems. All systems are currently functioning within normal parameters. Next check is scheduled in two hours. Note. The process has been started and the green goo... Looks like something straight out of a sci-fi movie. One is half expecting the theme from Constable Cruel to start playing. Either way, the genetic material is in. Mid-process check. Performing the mid-process check on VAT system, green, uh, green bioreactor fluid remains stable. Progress is on track. Cellular differentiation is proceeding as expected. Status. Cellular differentiation 60% complete. Nutrient consumption 45%. Waste production within normal limits. No anomalies detected. Adjusting nutrient delivery to accommodate increased metabolic activity. Projected completion of phase two in six hours. Continuing to monitor system. Note, mid-process check, and everything is developing nicely. The green bioreactor fluid still looks like an Irish-themed beer on steroids. Nutrient content is up. Seems accelerated. No anomalies except for the suspiciously high caloric level of nutrients. This goo better not be fattening. That development status. Finalizing development process. 
That has reached maturity. Green bioreactor fluid uh, parameters remain stable, preparing for our extraction and stabilization. Status development confirmed. Vital signs st stable. Nutrient levels adequate for phase. Extraction process initiated. Vats ready for final inspection and stabilization. Post extraction observation period set for 24 hours. All systems report normal operation. Note, finalizing everything soon. The green bio goo thingy, note to self, make a concrete name, has done its job. No superpower levels of radiation de detected yet, but fingers crossed. All right, let's keep moving. Another terminal. Disengage lock. We need it. What? Nope, 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 nope. No. No, no, no. We're not ready yet. What the hell? Are we a clone of Smythe? All right, let's go back up and let's poke around the rest of the area first. I have no idea what's going on here. I feel like we're missing some vital information here. Yeah, we'll go back to the Angel Lab spot we inadvertently went into, and we'll take a look-see. Alright, these load times are pretty good. Alright, let's see what's going on. That's why God invented Rad-X. Some ammo, more effects, lever action rifle, and a piece of shit armor. <laughs> oh. A pencil, a whoopee. And a terminal. And a blasted out terminal. Well. Never mind that. There's just not much here. Wonder why there was a separate cell just for this. How bizarre. Alright, there's one other spot I want to look at, and that's the other underground station that we uh, walked by. That confused me. This part's quiet because we've gotten rid of all the security. Okay, that's the spot I'm talking about, but I just want to look at the way back real quick. I just want to look at some labeling here. Yeah, this is where we came in from, Angel Underground Station, yeah. Save again before we go in. Okay, back in the underground station. And I'm glad I put the mask on. Wait a minute. Oh! I figured it out. Alright, for those who haven't quite figured it out yet, that. Ladies and gentlemen, 
was the doorway we were supposed to have taken the first time around, but couldn't. Okay. So things have gotten really interesting, and we kind of know what we're going to be getting ourselves into here. So we're going to head back to just before popping that terminal. And we're going to deal with that next episode because we're starting to run out of time. Uh, no, we're not starting to run out of time. We are out of time. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to get the latest and greatest videos as they come in. And to help this channel grow, this has been Big Dave, the Middle-Aged Gamer, and this is Fallout London. I'll see you all next time.